the East Side Dave Show, baby. edition of the East Side Dave Show with Roy Harder. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's throw it over to the master of ceremonies himself, Mr. East Side David McDonald. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Louder. Louder than that. Even louder. Quieter. <laughs> oh my God, look who it is. It's Flutesy, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We haven't seen her in person in so oh long. And then we got Andrew and Robert and there's Bo and Drew and Garrett and Roy Harder. Woo! You know, a, a, a pretty okay introduction. I mean, okay, you know. I thought it was pretty good, Dan. I mean, it was all right. Um, as you can see, um, I'm in the um, don't give a fuck stage anymore. Roy bought me the, a coat. Yeah. I actually now have... I have two sparkly black coats. This is fantastic. Yeah, oh um, so I'm going to keep one. this one for the wrestling, this one for the show. Every Dave man needs a good again. sparkly coat, okay, Dave. Dave. Dave wins again. Dave wins again. Dave. Thank you. Um, very excited. We have a huge show tonight, by the way. Huge. Legendary New York Football Giants kicker. Two-time Super Bowl champion. A guy who kicked the Giants into the Super Bowl not once but twice. Lawrence Tynes is in the house. Um, at 8 p.m. we'll be zooming in. And we have all kinds of questions for him. Um, Bo's, uh, Bo is here. He's a huge Giants fan. And Bo, I know you're very frustrated this year with the Giants. 0-3. I'm very frustrated. I almost <laughs> broke the TV the first two weeks. Almost. I almost slipped on my foot. All right, the, easy. After the, on the way back from the game. All right, all right, stop Sunday. it. No one believes you. No one believes that's your Elvis Presley shooting <laughs> televisions. You're, you're, you're lying. Right. But I do want you to bring this frustration to Lawrence Tynes, as I will, because I, too, am a Giants fan, and they fucking suck right now here, Roy. Okay? What's going on, David? Uh, they're 0-3. They can't fallen. God divine. No, you don't. Let's well, have a gratuitous talk show monologue Let's instead. Do it, oh, okay, God. <laughs> Taliban leaders are pissed. This is a true story. At the young... Taliban fighters for having too much fun in local amusement parks. <laughs> that is the truth. Wow. And after hearing this, Disney has decided to open up Disneyland Kabul um, <laughs> where future martyrs can experience pirates of the Afghanistan, uh, the fun and religious jihad crews, and of course everyone's favorite, the exciting and explosive Suicide Bomber Mountain. Okay. That's <laughs> Splash Mountain, Splash Mountain, Suicide Bomber Mountain, Splash Mountain. Did you, did you get the other ones? Yeah. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Right. And, and then what was the other first one? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, it's good, good, Roy. You know what? Two points for you. Minus three for Bo. In a new book, former White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham states that while he was Sith Lord of America, Darth Trump called her from Air Force One to insist that his penis does not look like the Super Mario character Toadstool. <laughs> this is in her new book. And that's totally normal for a president to do, by the way. I remember when FDR called Eleanor to deny that his dick looked like Droopy Dog. <laughs> that was good on multiple levels. Because Droopy Dog is a cartoon from the 30s, but also he was in a wheelchair, so the dick's gonna droop like that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Andrew, see? Andrew, you see, it was a double entendre. Andy, it was a double entendre. You know what those are? It's a double entendre. Awesome. He's <laughs> a good awesome one, Mr. right? Champion. I wrote that myself, baby. He's slapping the champion. The bounty hunter Ooh. says he's close to finding Brian Laundry, the guy who probably killed that girl, uh, Gabby Petito. Dog says that he just has to pick up some bounce fabric softener because that's the only real way to do laundry. <laughs> Robert, Robert, Robert. <laughs> it's a laundry joke. Huh? 
That's the best one, Stan. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like, hey, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to improv some more laundry humor because yeah. I think I just did a stumble. It's like, who, uh, who fucking washes the whites with the collars, right? Everyone knows you should segregate clothing just like people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Robert didn't like my improv like laundry now, joke. Man. Robert gave good. me the fucking stone cold face. That one I made up on the spot, you fucking cocksucker. Um, <laughs> as an aside, <laughs> as an aside, I can't stand doing laundry because the uh, dryer turns the jizz stains on the crotch of my shorts into such a hardened crust of cum that it makes oh me feel God. like I'm wearing one of Rob Halford's cod pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Interrupted. It was too disgusting for you. You interrupted the joke. <laughs> the, 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 the crust of cum. And, and Footsie, yeah. is that over the line? I mean, I think a little bit. It's it over the, the line. Cum. It might have been the combination of the Rob Halford that kind of put me over the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Footsie's used to it. It was over the line for Roy. That's, yeah. the, that, that's the pathetic part. That's, that's my true. limit. Yes. That's, that's Footsie was not insulted at all. No. Bo said not young. Bo said young. Bo said young. young. Bo said young. Because, well, you know what? He hears the word crust. And he thinks he's telling, like, we're talking about a pie, pie of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 no. That ain't no pie crust, Daddy. That's fucking cum crust. You understand? I understand. Bo, seriously, because you're a young little boy. I'm going to tell you about something. When you ejaculate into your clothing, all right, make sure you get that shit out quickly. Because when you wash it, it's going to be all crusty. It's going to feel like you're wearing a fucking Trisket for underwear. You understand? <laughs> it's going to be scratchy. <laughs> okay? Bo? <laughs> Are you there? I'm I there. am talking to you. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> You just ruined Triscuits. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Triscuits for me. Jamie Foxx <laughs> wants to remake Stephen King's Misery based on a weird interaction he had with fans. That's interesting. Because hmm. I was thinking of doing the same thing, remaking Misery, uh, with Big A. Oh, I, That's true. I wrote a fictional script <laughs> about Big A refusing to let a porn star leave his apartment while threatening her with a hammer. Oh my God. Actually, it's more of a documentary. I mean, like, <laughs> I like how Andrew laughs. He Andrew actually put his head back and laughed at that joke. The joke that inferred that he's a murderer and a kidnapper. <laughs> his head's still back. His head's still back. Uh, and Bo, I don't know why you're smiling, you motherfucker. You, you, you're going to star in the sequel, which according to the script... It features Big A chopping off your head and using it as a pinata for Cinco de Mayo. And speaking of Cinco de Mayo, here's Flute Come on! We haven't seen her in forever. Get, Flute get that, awesome! Papi. Oh, what? ¿Qué tal? What's up? Oh, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué Yo, pasa? Yo me llamo David, ¿y tú? Yes, ¿Y tú? when? Oh, uh, Flutzy's <laughs> also getting a movie. By the way, Roy, I don't know if you heard. I have not. And if you're over 18, you can see it on OnlyFans for $49. No, what? Okay. That's a pretty good price. Oh, yeah. $49.99. <laughs> $49.99. Right, Forty-nine ninety-nine. They're chanting titty bucks. I know, I'm, I mean, ignoring it's, it. ignore I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it. You're a supermodel now. I look now. like I have a tan. This is so nice. I know. You look fantastic. This lighting is Back to the model Okay. John Hinckley Jr., the guy who shot President Reagan, has been granted an unconditional release. This is the uh, guy who tried to kill Reagan to impress Jody Foster, if you recall. Yeah. When asked for comment, Hinckley said, quote, this is a direct quote, quote, I'm so ashamed to nearly assassinate the president because of Jodie Foster? I mean, come on. She looks like a wrinkled old lesbo now. I should have went with Brooke Shields. She's held up. Let's face it, Jodie Foster looks like Bilbo Baggins with a vagina. End quote. I mean, rough stuff there. I haven't been so shocked with a, a fucking quote like that since I saw last week's episode of the East High Dance Show. Yeah. Yeah. We got a busy show. We got a busy fucking show to do, man. We got a busy fucking show to do, dude. We got a show that's fucking busy, bro. We got a busy show, man. Because what you're about to experience is not a radio show. The last time I checked, you're on no radio station, right, Andrew? Oh, fuck no. All right. Fuck no, Andrew. Fuck no. And we're not on a uh, television channel, right? Who have us? So it's not a TV show. Who have us? Who 
have us, he says. So, we're not a television show, we're not a radio show. I don't, what are we here? Hey, Joe. He's a side day, a show with Roy Harlan. He's a side day, Joe! Who's Roy Harlan? Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh, yeah. Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh, yeah. Underneath that tree. There's just gonna be you and me. Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh, yeah. Old man down at Garden Hook down there. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Old man down like a county cook, my man. Oh, yeah. Bend down and pull the hook Light up baby gonna take a look Pull him down and a county hook my man Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Underneath that apple suckling tree Oh yeah! Underneath that apple suckling tree Oh yeah! Underneath that tree There's just gonna be you and me Underneath that apple suckling tree Oh yeah! One more! Now I wish to my soul I had years. Oh yeah. Now I wish to my soul that I had years. Oh yeah. If I fall on your burying ground, didn't catch your name. He had a hound bad on down there on the avenue. Oh yeah. Here we go now. Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh yeah. Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh yeah. Underneath that tree, there's just gonna be you and me here. Underneath that apple suckling tree. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Unbelievable. And Bo got up during the song, Roy. I'm not sure if you noticed. And he, he stood creepily. Hi, <laughs> Andrew and Flutie. Were Hold you on. supposed to be dancing there? What was the object of that maneuver? So I'm overtaken by the spirit, yeah. David. I mean, it was, it was great that you got up. You, 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 you reminded me like of an old black woman at like a Baptist uh, church. There. You, you got, but then you didn't follow. The, you just kind of stood there. What happened there? Um, not, okay, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the response. <laughs> Good answer, Bo. <laughs> Listen, uh, we got a lot to uh, do. I mean, we gotta do, we're going to do a flutey song tonight. All right. I mean, you know what? Let's do a flutey song right fucking now. All right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in, t t tonight's fucking rapid fire. All right. All right. Have a microphone up here. Flutey, get up here. Oh, flutey. Song. Oh. Flutey, flutey. We got the fucky. We got the chunky. We got the monkey. Flutey, flutey. She a potato. She a go-go. Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Um, Flutzy, you're back, and you're ready to play a flute song. It's been a long time. I know. So, I mean, you've been, you've oh been, you made some great uh, videos, and I there did. was a lot of controversy with some of your flute videos Which that ones? you've been sending in because oh, yeah. oftentimes you will forget to provide an answer. And then because of the songs you choose, they sometimes can be obscure. Right. Me and Roy. I like and to every, give it a little, like a little doozy just, here and there. Ever, sometimes we don't have the fucking <laughs> answer. Well, you know, that just. Did you email the answer? Well, you know, I do. Actually, so there's been, there's been some times. Oh, no. Drew. <laughs> She's all right. Drew, is she lying? Uh, we all know what's going on here, Dave. She's lying. So, oh, Bo, get me a paper towel, please. Okay. Sometimes I. I'm sweating. <laughs> Sometimes I email the answer and then it just doesn't get recorded. I don't know how. I don't know how that works, but that's what happens. All you have to do is in the copy of the goddamn email. Just say, here's the goddamn answer. I do, but you know what? Uh, how do I send it? Oh, yeah, we transfer. Sometimes I put the answer in like the little box that oh, it says Jesus message. Christ. And then I guess like if you don't Back pick it up. 45 seconds. I've, 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 just, I've, you know, been, that's I've just seen how this it is. woman for 45 seconds. She's already bothering me. <laughs> Listen, you're going to play a song. It's yes. from a movie. It now, is. I don't know anything, so I don't know how. I, I can't give a hint. Can you can you write down some something for me? This is what the answer. This is the so answer. I suppose, um, Drew, uh, flash that number if you could. Or Garrett, eight seven seven nine six two six eight four six. Call in. Guess the movie. Okay. And if you guess the movie, you are the uh, September twenty eighth, two thousand twenty one Eastside Dave Show champion. 
You can change your Twitter profile, your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok. You can change all your profiles to the September 28th, 2021 Eastside Dave Show champion. That's the prize. That's at stake. It's a big prize. You're the champion. So call us up at 877-962-6846. We already have a caller on the line, but we're not going to go to him. No, 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 no. Flutzy, you take your time. You play this song. Let's hear. Let, you let's got hear it, this. Dave. This is going to be tricky. I, I, she showed me the movie, Roy. A bit. Okay, good. Here, Here we go. go. Stop it! What? what? <laughs> I can't say anything. What happened? Because, okay, I'm, I'm restarting. Wait, wait, what was he doing? No, I just, I just heard something that I heard. Okay. What were you doing? <laughs> I was just sitting here, and she just had a fucking meltdown. I drank a Coke, David, so I might have belched into the microphone. Okay, will you please... Up. The poor girl is trying to play a goddamn fucking song. I'm Will you please? Back. Sorry, Flutie. Jesus okay. Christ Almighty! I apologize. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing over there? You're choking on Coca-Cola. Have you forgotten how to fucking swallow? Sorry, dude. The, 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 Sorry, dude. She's Sorry, trying to fucking play a song, and it's yeah. like you're drowning. I, I just hear like... <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking carbonation of the Coke. It's a new Slow down, man. Sip it. Slow down. Sip it. You're fucking <laughs> chugging that shit. It must be a new blender It's something. not new. It's Coca-Cola. It's been around for 150 years. All right. Good thing I can start again. Just... Get to the hook and then. I know this. Oh okay, very yes, nice, very nice. All right, I, I I know this. This is this is this is actually easy for me. It's a Disney movie, and I'll say '60s. Is it Disney? I believe so, and I'll say 1960s, mm. and that's all I'm prepared to tell you. The Classic object Disney. of the flute Classic. game is simply guess the movie that the song is from, exactly. and then you win. Right. I, I know Bradley was on uh, the line first. Even though, uh, well, let's just go to Bradley regardless. Bradley? Hey, Brad Dave. Bradley! I'll give him my best guess. Yeah, so yes. did you hear the clues? Disney movie, 60s, did you say? 60s, 60s 1960s. Oh, uh, Swan. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Wow. Well, Sleeping Beauty was from the 1930s. You're off by uh -oh. considerable amount of time with that guess. Two World Wars. Not a cartoon. I will further help you. Not a cartoon. Unlike Sleeping Beauty, not a cartoon. Live action. Not a cartoon, okay. 60s, uh, Disney. Pretty big. Pretty big movie here. Involves a bit of flying. Flying! Oh, bed knobs and broomsticks. Okay. <laughs> What? Bradley, we're going to have to say so long. I'm sorry, Bradley. So long. Oh, my God. So long, Bradley. I mean, I, you gave it a nap. You get him the fuck off the phone, Drew! Get him off the phone, Drew! So long, Bradley. Okay, bye, Bradley. Bobby is online. Bobby. And I'm thinking... Hey, sorry, Dave. First time, long time. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Robert. You, uh... I noticed you got up from the couch and walked out of the studio. So when no, I saw Bobby My name's on Bobby. line seven there, I figured it was you. No, it wasn't Rob. It was, it, that would be Rob. I'm a big fan of your show, so I know that. Why are you doing this? Like we have a lot more fun when we play Rob's games than the flute game. Can, can, can <laughs> hang up like that's, on him, that's a lot please. More enjoyable. Hang up on him. Hang up on his fucking alt-righty ass. Oh, I got someone who he, they did an email complaint about Robert. Oh, yeah? Said, I love the show. He said, you guys have been on fire killing the show lately. He says, I uh, like all of um, Ro Robert's alt-righty material. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's the two. Does he do anything? I'll show you the I'm not bullshitting. I bet you they mean Roy. But I, I don't think he, he is Robert Alrighty, and we we, we didn't know about we that. Need a flash. No, I, I, I didn't. I, I wasn't aware of that. But now I look at his shirt. He's I thought I was more Alright than Robert. <laughs> Call in um, if you're listening. Um, 
All right. This, 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 no, we're gonna go around the room. I'm, I'm gonna go All for right, Andrew, fine, and I'm gonna go for else. Bo because, well, listen, call in. But I'm just curious if Bo uh, has a guess here. Bo for that song. I think he does. It'd be Chim Chimney from the movie Mary Poppins. Bo! Oh! Andrew, did you know that? He did not. Bo, you're a champion tonight. <laughs> just doing it for time's sake. We gotta move on. Bo, 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 Bo's on fire. He's on fire. Thank you, Bo. Bo's a champion on the Eastside Dave Show tonight with Roy Harder. Well, that was, I mean, it was well played. I was going to say, Herbie um, goes bananas. What's the reason for Chim Chimney? You know, Mary it literally just no popped into my head. You know, no football movies? You knew that Lauren Steins was going to be here. Maybe I did, something but. Something from Rudy? You know I don't make connections. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you know this about me. Was the email andrew.gold at gmail.com? <laughs> no, it was not. I'll show you the person. Let's not dwell on that, Robert. We've moved on from that. That was like 48 seconds ago. Please. Was it not Stephen Lewis? Let's go, Robert. God, you mentioned that. Now he's going to dwell with the whole See, fucking yeah, He's like that. He's, <laughs> let's, we're moving on. It's a fast show. It's rapid yes, fire. All right. Yes? What's up? Oh, he's here. Who yes, is? we got... Lawrence Hines? Yeah. You know what? Uh, let's go to him right now. Heck, heck. And thank you so so much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Flitzy. Hello, Lawrence. Hey, thank you, Flitzy. Lawrence Hines. What's up? Can you hear me? We can hear you just fine. This is What's amazing. This looks like a party. It this is. is a party. We I are mean. all here to celebrate you, a two-time Super Bowl champion. In my opinion, the greatest kicker in the history of the New York football Giants. My opinion too, David. My hey. opinion um, too. I appreciate that. And, and I mean, you got the couch. You've got Fitz Magic over here playing. <laughs> Um, Lawrence, I got. I want to obviously talk to you about the Giants' season right now, but I do. Oh. I did want to say. So I wasn't sure originally if Lawrence was going to do the show or, or what, because Lawrence, we are the people uh, who did the. Um, we'll call it the "Forget Tom Brady" song. Okay, you know, remember yeah. the, the cursing oh, yeah. song with him. Uh, One hundred fifty thousand yeah. views on YouTube, by the way, because uh, it's Giants' time at the Super Bowl. Woo! Eli Manning and Trail Roll. Yeah. Oh my God, that yeah. was phenomenal! Yeah. Oh, wow. I told people and no one believed me. Oh I told because we had a conversation on Twitter and you said that that song was actually played in the Giants locker room at we some played point. It, we played it all week in the locker room at the Cardinals. Uh, wait, 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 at our practice oh facility in Indy, yeah. Oh my God, this Sick. is amazing. Wait, 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 in Indianapolis? You mean before the Super Bowl? Like, so, like, during the week at the training facility, like, uh, game day gets a little more intense. So yeah. you gotta, you know. <laughs> but, like, during the week, like, after practice, like, intro roll would be like, hey, Steve, hit the song. And they would play. And Steve would, like, dance. You know, he's, he's all ripped up and muscular. Um, I, and you he, know, I can die. No, I can so die now, Lawrence. Wrong. You can actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, so, we're, like, we're Steve, nine stories Steve up has in a, New York. Yeah, Steve has a video of him, like, coming out. And he, when he says, like, Kicking in your face, he Steve kicked Weatherford. his leg real up. Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty epic. So yeah. maybe we can get him on. All right, oh, we gotta get that video from Steve Woo! Weatherford. That would be yes. unbelievable, the punter. But Lawrence ties, of course. Yeah, I'm. The I'm... Giants into the Super Bowl uh, against the the Packers against uh, my God the 49ers. I mean, Mr. Clutch, Mr. Clutch, Lawrence ties right here. I appreciate that. Woo! Yeah, thank you. Lawrence, um, I want to show you what you mean to Giants fans. Garrett has this. The, this is a live shot of me. This is how like a normal Giants fan looks. And it's going to it's gonna frighten you. And at some point, like the Gimp in Pulp Fiction, there's going to be a, a, a large man who is who we, we kept trapped in the garage. Just watch this video. This is Lawrence Tynes okay. lining up for a kick in 2012 to kick the Giants to the Super Bowl in Indianapolis to face off against the Patriots for a second time. Super Bowl 46. Well, watch this video. This is real. This is a shot. Here we go. This is what you mean to Giants fans, Lawrence. Look at my nerves. <laughs> How much you have is riding it? on this game, David? I have a look. This is it, baby. This is it. 49er. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. It's 31. <laughs> 31. <laughs> clean the snap, clean the Good, good. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Here's the hugging. He just, yes. Now watch for the That's big the surprise. The big surprise is when we see our football gimp 
out of nowhere. You you weren't anticipating a football gift was kept in the garage, but that's him. We refused to let him watch the game with us Holy because Christ. it was bad no. luck. No. <laughs> True story. That's my friend Jason, and there was some kind of play or a bad call, and we said, and we 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 thought it was Jason's fault. So for the rest of the game, we said you have to watch it in You're the out. garage. You're gone. <laughs> Get out of here. I, swear I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So you got to do what you got to do. By the way, this is pretty cool. You know, Lawrence Tynes is originally from Scotland. No, did you know this? I did not know that. Lawrence, you were born in Scotland, correct? Yeah, I moved. I moved to Florida, Panhandle, Florida. Oh, now I hear the accent, David. Now that you mentioned it, now I hear yeah. the accent. That's yeah. called the Redneck Riviera. So when you're down there, you, you, you lose you lose your accent really quick. But, um, um, but I I still do like at the end of my podcast I host twice a week for the Giants called Blue Rush Pod. There you go with the New York Post. Um, I do the clothes in Scottish. Oh, so, really? Can yeah, we, yeah. You, it's just just an accent. You know, can we I mean, have a little I, taste? I mean, I'm just, I, need, I need something to read. Like, give me something uh, like. Uh, Hold on, let me. I can pull up my uh, like. So basically, I read like the end of our show. All right, I like this. So like, let, I'm going to my notes here from our show. Hold on, a handsome guy too. So, isn't he, Flutie? Um, here yeah, we go. <laughs> so, so like, uh, where's the clothes? It's a football player. They're all very good looking men. Oh, so okay, so so here here it is. Okay, here we- this is the Scottish clothes. If you listened. To the um, podcast, you would hear this every week. So. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But I, 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 dude, these guys aren't sports fans. Roy, Roy doesn't so even just, understand just, like, the shape quickly. of a football. And so yeah. The show ends, and then it goes to the Scottish close. And that says, cheerio to episode 72, the OCU Minori edition of the Blue Rush podcast. <laughs> That, there you go. There's that, listen, Scottish accents are just the best. They're I just mean, they are. Everyone, they everyone loves them. They love drinking and smoking. <laughs> and people. I'm I'm part Scottish now, Lawrence. I I, I would like to say um, that uh, we do have a couple guys in here who are big um, fans of yours, cool. um, and they they have a few questions that they prepared themselves, and um, they are you know. Uh, can okay. you guys just put earmuffs on your head for a second? Both of you, both you and Bo, Andrew, um, Lawrence, they're a little bit crazy. Okay, okay. please. T- yeah, don't get insulted by the questions. I'll just try to move on. You know, I won't. In, a, in a very no. quick quick way because you know they're a little bit. They both have. Where where are you guys at? What is this? A we're studio in New York or? City, thirty fifth uh, between seventh and eighth. Next time uh, you're in town, come on down. I'll be. Studio. I'm in town. I'm in town for the reunion. The Giants uh, reunion. Uh, ten year, ten year of this Super Bowl. Can you believe it's been that long? Wow, it's incredible. Um, that it's been ten years. Rams, we're, we're Rams game. So hope to God we're not zero and five going into. Well, that, if but. you're here on Tuesday, we want you to uh, to come in for sure. You're always welcome. And it is a party. Oh, we yeah. play music and stuff. Andrew, um, yeah, I could. So Tuesday, I'm supposed to leave. Me and Zach Diossi, Obviously, he's very familiar with this song too. So <laughs> he knows about it. And, we got to get this video with Steve Weatherford. I know. You gotta, I got. I, we like, got to get the video. I think I filmed it, and because he kind of came around the corner, kicking in your, and his leg just kicked up, and he's just going like he's in his underwear. I mean, the whole it's so thing is so surreal. When I wrote that, really, let's be yeah. honest, somewhat simple, uh, childish song. I yeah. mean, it's not exactly Bob Dylan lyrics. Um, when I wrote that, and then of course Roy Harder put the uh, beautiful music behind it. Oh uh, yeah, it was, it was I never would have expected it. the Giants would actually be listening to it in the locker the room. Su- Super Bowl week. Super Bowl yes. week. Andrew, we- quickly, I, I'm I'm enjoying talking to Lawrence, I don't want him to be too distracted with your questions, so just quickly. Hi, Lawrence. I'm Big A, and I'm a big uh, fan, literally. Um, one of the, of the biggest fans around. I, I could probably have been a better offensive lineman than Chris uh, Snee. Okay. Them, but the Giants never gave me a shot. All right. He doesn't. Okay, keep, keep going, Andrew, please. I guess my question, Lawrence, is can I uh, <laughs> do a football team for not letting me play for them? Apologies. Oh, Lawrence, good question. He, he's, uh, Lawrence, the, the que- he, he, he's a big guy, and he feels like he should have been on the team instead of Chris Snee. And yeah. he, now he, I guess he wants to sue the Giants, but you can't sue a team for not putting them on your their roster, can you? Ooh. No, that would be hard. There's a lot of powerful... <laughs> a lot there's, of a lot of, 
a lot of money, a lot of good lawyers yeah. that work for these teams. Yeah, I would almost say think the, the NFL in some ways controls the entire country. So <laughs> it, it, um, it really does. <laughs> there is it's it, a it's a huge business at this point, yeah. and it's always the number one tell. It's like it it always gets like the top four or five slots of the most watched TV shows of the week. It's I mean the MLB football. will brag about like a playoff game, and then they'll be like, oh by the way, Thursday night football blew that out of the yeah, water. Yeah, no, it's you know, true. Regular season, and it's true. You know, uh, Eli and Peyton. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch I have. that. It's I love a lot it. of fun. A lot it's, of fun. It's, it's been fantastic. Um, yep. What do you think about, uh, you know, there's a lot of people, myself, Bo, he's a big Giants fan, we're quite frustrated yeah. this year. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've seen your tweets because it seems like you're not uh, entirely thrilled with Jason Garrett's uh, no, play calling. He's go. Neither am I. Lawrence, what the, what are we doing here? He's got to go. I mean, I think, wow. to be honest with you, everything else works. They, the offense for the last, and this is not a three-game indictment. This is a 19-game indictment. He has coached his team all of last year and three games into this season. Right. If you look at the numbers and look at their production, just like a player, right? I would get cut if I wasn't producing. I would get benched if I was making a ton of money because they don't yeah. want to cut me. Right. I mean, he's a guy that kind of came from the head coaching role, and to me, his offense is so archaic. Like it, it just doesn't it look like like if when we did you watch the Niners and the Packers play Sunday yes. night? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, That's, absolutely. It, like it, I, that, don't the, you watch that game and go, holy shit! I can't. There's no way our team can play here. Right. They just can't. No. Not offensively. I don't so, understand uh, when you get all these these basically track stars, and it's a good thing that they have so much speed. I don't understand why there multiple receivers aren't down the field more often. I mean, you have Tony, who legitimately has I insane speed. You just gave millions and millions of dollars to Galladay, and yeah. yet they're not throwing the ball down the field. They 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 just and Daniel Jones. Let's give him some credit here. He has answered the bell and played yeah. well. I've always I've always liked Daniel, but they just you know it was hard to evaluate someone when there was a guy in your face every time you threw the football. Right. The offensive line has played a little better, but offensively they just don't do a lot of motions shifts. They just, they just kind of line up like you're in eighth grade and say you run an out route, you run an in, you run a curl, and expect to beat teams. You can't do that in today's NFL. It's just not going to work. They're not creative, Bo. Wait, what's your question for Lawrence? Because I know you're frustrated as a Giants fan. You have a uh, a Giants uh, jacket on right now. Yep, that's well, right. Law Lawrence, first I got to say it's an honor just to be able to speak to you today. I myself, I like that. Dave, attended Super Bowl Forty Six. Yes. Yeah. By the way, uh, yes, Lawrence, I was I was at, at the uh, game as you were, Lawrence. Of course, you were. Should have came to the party <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> uh, but but, uh, but I just learned, even though I, I uh, it's known that I've been there uh, at yeah. the game for ten years. Yeah. I just learned tonight that Bo was at the Super Bowl as well. He just oh, wow. told me tonight oh, wow. for the first time. Anyway, Bo, what, what's your question for Lawrence? All right, Lawrence, I'm frustrated with the offensive coordinator Jason Garrett. I bet if that brainless ginger farted, it would smell like boring screen passes. Okay. Comment, Lawrence. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, <laughs> Lawrence. Don't no no reason. I went, no, I'm all. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, we're all sick of him. Um, he, <laughs> I mean, the he, farting uh, with the screen pass line to me. Well, was the fart. Yeah, I, I, I kind of glossed. I glossed over that. But the <laughs> the, the Jason Garrett thing. The Jason Garrett, uh, you know, bandwagon of people getting on it with me is. Is picking up steam. Um, I'm voiced. I'm, I think I'm the only player, ex player, that's voiced my displeasure with him. He's an ex cowboy. He's not really a giant, so I don't give a damn. Yeah. Um, no, no. Uh, let me just say this. But Lawrence. he's not good enough. He's not good enough. You, you are um, one of my. You, I mean, I follow tons and tons of Giants. I'm a, a diehard fan. You're, you're, you're amongst my absolute favorite Giants Twitter feeds because Lawrence Times tells it. Like it is. You see that, David? All the time. Yeah. A lot of former well, players. They want to go to the reunions. They want. Yeah. They're going to see the owners. Yeah. They don't want to ruffle feathers. He's going to a reunion. Yeah. In, hey, in, they're in not a couple gonna, months. And he, he. I mean, listen I, listen. I love the Giants. Don't get me wrong. I, I know love you John do. Mara. I it's love honesty. I love Ronnie Barnes. I love all Thomas McGahee, Coach Quinn are still there. They, the Giants are not going to write me one more check the rest of my life. So I don't care if I piss them off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you got to yeah. listen to uh, Lawrence's podcast. Blue Rush. It's called Blue, Blue Rush. Rush. It's fantastic yep. podcast. There it is. Sweet. Thanks for the shout out. And uh, Andrew, 
You had a question because I'm enjoying talking. I don't want to be interrupted by your questions, but okay. If you promise to do this one quickly, though, okay. okay. Sorry about this, Lawrence. But these guys are no, pumped up. They're, they're they're pumped up to see you to talk to you. I love it. It's just I wish the quality of the hi. questions. Was, okay, just go ahead. Go ahead, Andrew. Hi, hi, Lawrence. Big A here. I keep keep hearing quarterbacks. Say Omaha. All right. I'm sorry. But I'm not the biggest fan of Nebraska. <laughs> as <laughs> I <true>. don't, <laughs> don't like corn. All right, where are you going with this? Quarterbacks <laughs> should change it to Hackensack, New Jersey. Oh. Red 33, blue 24. <laughs> Hackensack, New Jersey. Hike. Okay, Lawrence, what he's so, trying to say took him a we long We should time. only use towns in New Jersey, <laughs> not he's, Nebraska. He's upset so, as a Giants fan, you know, Trenton, that they're using a, a town from, yeah, in Nebraska. Trenton, we should use Trenton, Newark. Uh, like, Newark, go. Newark. Lawrence, don't you Omaha. think saying Hackensack, New Jersey, Red 33, Blue 22, it's Hackensack. Too many don't syllables. You think Hackensack, too many New syllables. Jer- too many syllables. Too we many need syllables. like Omaha. Like, I guess it's uh, Hackensack. I don't know. Too, too don't, cumbersome. You know, like, if I'm a quarterback, I don't ever want to use a term that has the word sack in it, you know? <laughs> like, Ooh, man, Andrew. <laughs> so, oh, come on, Andrew. He's not going to have the quarterback have the word sack in it. You no, stupid no, idiot. So that, but, maybe, boy, now we're getting uncomfortable. Boy, Lawrence, and he's getting a point. look of what we actually act like when celebrities aren't here, <laughs> which is people um, we yell at each other. I apologize but, for my outburst right there. No, it's great. I, I live two hours away from Omaha, actually. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I, li- I live in I, I live in Kansas. It's it's not it's not great, but <laughs> oh wow! Oh, no, but it's good. It's good that you're far away from Andrew because he stalks people. Now, um, Bo, Bo, what's your question? Quick for Lawrence, and then I got I will have a question or two for Lawrence. Okay. How how is playing with Eli? I almost oh. named my dog Eli, but I didn't. There are lots of things I don't do, like driving pro- properly. I almost never do that. Okay, he does. <laughs> okay. Um, how was playing um, like Eli Manning? I mean, Eli Manning, Manning and, and know, is he a Hall of Famer? Oh, absolutely. Yes. He's and, and if and it's and, and if it's uh, let alone just for the two playoff runs, right? Like his his regular season is let's call it what it is, mediocre. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he he dealt with some really bad teams late in his career. So I don't but if you you ask me today and people ask me all the time, who do I want in a playoff game, Eli or Peyton? It's Eli Manning Every day of the week, like I just love what he brought to the table. I love the Eli so much, and you are. But he's right. just a gamer. He's a he's an yeah. assassin. Like he just, and then people are seeing his personality right now on TV. He's a funny ass. They're dude, great. Man. Did you see that Eli gave the double bird? Oh yeah, on Monday Night <laughs> yeah. Football. And then did you see he, my uh, Did you see my tweet about it? I put both rings on his fingers. <laughs> You have to find my two. That's hysterical. You have have to find it. As as funny as Eli giving the double bird was the sort of uh, 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 sloppy apology they they had Eli do when they came back from commercial break. He's like, "Listen, I apologize if you got." Of course, Disney Disney had to Disney had to CYA right. (laughs) He's like, "I'm sorry." Okay, Eli doesn't usually do a double bird, but um, uh, Lawrence, um, so many things. I I mean, what? Oh, there's his kick. There it is. But, 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 <laughs> but I put the I put the ring. You probably can't see him. You have to put. I put the rings. I, I put see him. both rings on his fingers. That's it. Two time champion. Well, here's the thing about <laughs> Eli, Eli Manning Lawrence is that in those two championship runs, okay, you look at it. He had to win four games. Okay, the Giants didn't have a bye, so he had to get he had to go four zero. So we're, we'll we'll say that he's eight zero in those two Super Bowl runs. Um, in those eight games, he only threw one interception, and it was off a yeah. of receiver's hands. That's He's, like pretty there it insane. Is. Look at it. We're on the screen, baby. There he is, right there. Ah, uh, look at the rings. That's Lawrence Tides, by the way, at LT4 Kicks. At um, LT4 Kicks. You know what? He he's just. Uh, I'm glad he's on TV now because he had a personality, right? If you remember when we played, he didn't let a lot of people in when he did his interviews, and it served him really well in New York. I think it was a great way to be, but. Seeing him on TV, you guys are starting to see the Eli that we all love. That's why we followed him, and he's yeah. a great player, and he's well, funny Those as Mannings hell. are funny guys. What, what can yeah. you say? There's something I humorous mean, about those guys. You're rich. you got a great family, healthy <laughs> kids. What, what's there to be bad about? Andrew, what? 
We're we're cheese. You, every time we're on a roll. Just quickly, 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 right. quickly. Hey Lawrence. Sorry about this, Lawrence. You're okay. Go ahead. Hey, Lawrence. No, it's all good. Hey Lawrence, Big A here. He knows it's you. How often did you see Michael Strahan with food in his gap teeth? <laughs> oh god food stuck in the gap in his teeth uh, um michael strahan once told me i was the best dress kicker he ever seen on a road trip so I, that's all that's all i needed to yes. hear from michael he's um, a good, michael strahan's amazing though huh? he's, he's 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 going into he the is. um he, he's already in the ring of honor but he's getting his number retired in november yeah yeah he's getting his number retired um i'm still mm. waiting for my ring of honor call i haven't got it yet, but, <laughs> i think um, it should happen number nine what andrew Yes, he answered your Michael Strahan. Did you have more for the Strahan thing? Yeah, I what? would. I would imagine quite a bit. I bet you could fit an entire apple in that gap. Okay, Andrew, <laughs> we've moved <laughs> on from Michael Strahan. Hang up and listen. That's amazing. <laughs> An entire apple. He thinks um, I, maybe no, I, apple slices. Maybe you're no. lucky that Lawrence, is, you know, is taking this nicely because I mean we're ready to throw you out of here. This isn't the way you treat guests. I apologize, Lawrence, for this. No, it, it's fine. Listen, it, it, Strahan. Uh, I remember our our head strength coach in Arizona at the Super Bowl. He, uh, we were all stretching. So when you're stretching, it's just a bunch of BS talk. Coaches walk around. Hey, how's the family? Blah blah blah. <laughs> And so Jerry comes out, our strength coach, Paul Mary, and he goes, hey, Michael. And, you know, Michael's over there stretching. And everyone's, let, everyone hears Jerry say, hey, Michael. And he had this big piece of rope, right, like this. And he goes, you left your floss over there on the field. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I mean, and the thing is, if you knew Jerry, he's a God-fearing, like, Christian man, like, never crossed the line, never cursed. It was like me, David. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And he, uh, it was just really funny. So that, you know, it was, it was kind of a nice icebreaker start the week. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I actually, that's a guy who I like on TV. Um, what about uh, Gettleman? Um, where are you with yeah. him? Where, where, where are you with Gettleman and where are you with Judge? Mm. Because Love Judge. Okay, and I've been. Judge is untouchable. Judge is untouchable. He's untouchable for now, but I, I got to say, if he doesn't make that move, then yeah. I agree with you on I with agree. Garrett. I with, agree. With and Garrett. He, he may. If you want to let, you got to be careful. Loyalty is a dangerous thing, man. Right, exactly. And if you're too loyal, your ass will be packing your bags with him. So, you got it. And um, what about Gettleman? What's your stance on him? to make tough, tough decisions. I like, I like Dave a lot. Dave is a old school football guy, but the key term there is old school. Yeah. You know, I, I think um, Dave has been to six or seven Super Bowls as a as an executive, whether it be in scouting or general manager role. So he knows what the hell he's doing. Mm. I just think. He's a little bit older. You know, he's had some health issues, mm. and I'm not saying that's why he shouldn't have the job. I just think the game has changed a little bit, and I think he tries to look for for those kind of 80s, 90s, early 2000s players, mm. and I think he's missing a little because, listen, it, th these players are different, and I say that. I, I retired eight, seven years ago, right? and they're different than when, when I was there. Jeez. I mean, I talk to guys now that, that still work in the organization, and they say how much different our group was compared to what – this group is and you're kind of getting these twitter social media guys twitter was new when we were when i was playing right that right. that i never had twitter or instagram or anything until i got done playing in 14 so um steve was a big twitter guy weatherford uh back in the day but it got him in a lot of trouble too man he would tweet stuff about like the eagles team and their <laughs> facility and how i remember we pulled into philly one time and he took he took uh, a picture of a nasty ass building in philly and we're going to the stadium like game day on the bus. <laughs> and he goes, let's get this dub and get out of this shithole. And he posted <laughs> and he, he posted said that a on picture. Twitter. Yeah. And then like after the game, he obviously had, I think, yeah, we won, but he had to answer, you know, tons of questions about stuff you're posting. <laughs> oh, that's and, awesome. Whereas now these kids, I think they're just different. It doesn't mean yeah. they're not, they're just different, man. If we social don't start evolving. Has, uh, social media has impacted the world. Yeah, it's a and I, I don't think we fully understand all of the Well, listen, we would have never connected if we didn't have. I love social media. No, I know. I know. I'm just saying. I don't I, think. I, I just don't know if we know all of the 
the consequences of social media yet on that. That's true. Uh, on the human have, brain. Yeah. Um, I have 14 year old twin boys. So yeah, right. I get it. Bo, uh, you said you had a, a question, a, a one last one. Yep. I knew. Anyway, make to make you anyway. You weren't man. even talking. How do you start a <laughs> sentence with anyway? <laughs> if you, you weren't involved in our conversation in any way, I apologize for this, Lawrence. No, it's great. Okay. <laughs> right. To, like the hoodie, though. Yeah, the, the hoodie's great. You look the great. Hoodie's, Bo, the hoodie's clean, yeah. Th thanks. <laughs> Make you the general manager and fire Dave Gettleman. I mean, my dad could be a better GM than than Gettleman, and he's currently dead. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow. I mean, that's dark. You don't need that. That's it's dark. supposed to be a light interview. We're not talking about yeah. your deceased oh my father anymore. My goodness. Um, <laughs> Lawrence, apologies yeah, I want, for that one. I want no part of, uh, of, of running a football team. I just, <laughs> no way. No, but you're a smart guy. It does seem scrutiny. like, uh, ha how about coaching? Would, would there be any, anything? Uh, thought about teams? it, thought about it, man. But I like my family too much. A lot of these coaches never see their kids. They're, you know, they, they miss so days, much. 20-hour days, right, in the NFL? It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's yeah. overload, man. It's just, yeah. they, you know, for eight months, they're gone. Like camp all the way through the season. Wow. Some guys you, sleep in the office. I mean, Jason Garrett's living last? in a hotel. You, you hear right. about these stories of of coaches leaving at it's 1 a.m. and then they're back in the stadium at 5 a.m. And you're it like, just makes no sense. Jesus. <laughs> like, Andrew, looking, you, they're all looking for that one little edge, like exactly. that teeny little something they think is going to help them win. Drugs. So, I don't, yeah, no way. Andrew, one last question for Lawrence. Yes. That's it. Because between yes. you and Bo, yes. you know, Lawrence, I mean, you know, look at this. Look at this. Lawrence has treated you guys with class. But we're going to have a little yes, talk yes. after the show. Roy Harder's going to lay if the smack is down on the both of you. Okay? You've embarrassed Roy. Class. Right, Roy? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Andrew, please. Hey, Lawrence. Serious question. Is Phil Sims... A bino, or at least part of a bino. Last yeah. time I seen someone that blonde and creepy looking, he was playing a, a, a banjo deliverance. Oh my God! He's comparing oh God. Phil Sims. He's just blonde. You've never seen a blonde person before? He's not an albino. Arian. What about that? Yeah. I'm he's not sure. I don't, not, Lawrence, not you sure would, would you've, you've hung around with Phil. I know you. I, he was, I, yeah. He, he was in the previous, he was in the Parcells era, but he's, 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 he's not an albino. He's just a blonde hair. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he is, but no. it's a fair question, though. Anyway. <laughs> That's I like a the fair question. question. See? I like the, I like the question. <laughs> it's, it's fair. I've, I've, I've actually never, I, told I you, never Dave, thought. I, I never you. think you're upset that the Giants being the Patriots in Super Bowl 42. I, I, I never, that, I never that, actually, our, never. I never you actually are actually our first uh, famous person, celebrity or athlete, who's ever uh, taken an Andrew question well. So <laughs> I never. Yeah, it was he's on my shit. side, uh, Dave. He's on my side. Yes. I never actually never allowed myself to go there thinking <laughs> those things was how I know. <laughs> I just never did. Lawrence, um, uh, it's been, Bo, you don't have any more, right? No. You you guys are out. Okay, uh, Andrew, you're good. All right, Roy, you have anything you want? I'm good. I'm definitely you're good. <laughs> Flutzy. Anyway, we'll go around the room. Any questions? Uh, uh, you know, for uh, Lawrence before we go. Um, what's life a... like after football? Ooh. Oh my god, that's a great question. And do you um, love it or do you miss the sport? She's asking miss... if you're single or not. I know. Watch out. <laughs> uh, she hits on New York uh, City athletes. That's fine. She it's uh, okay. hit all over Curtis Granderson. About four nice. or five years ago when he's with the Yankees. So be very careful. He's married. Wait a second. What? He's married. He made right. that clear. I hope you stay married for the rest of your life. All right. Because we want to <laughs> be said, friends I, with Lawrence. He made wanna... that clear. What is life like? But, you know, the yeah. first year is hard. Not to get too sentimental. It's tough because you're you're so used to be to told where to be, what to do. Mm. You know, you're, you're, you're in the spotlight. Um and I had been told that since I was 18 years old, right? High school football through to college, pro. So almost half my life by that time, I had played professional football or college football. But the only thing I miss are, are Sundays. I don't miss Monday through Saturday at all. Yeah. It, it's mm -hmm. um, Everyone sees the product on Sunday, but nobody sees 
all the work it takes to kind of perform at that level. Mm. And it's hard. Like it's, you know, I always said there was 32 people in the world that got to do what I do. Mm. Um, Mm -hmm. And that's a very small fraction. And to stay good at it, the amount of work and sacrifice you make, not only for yourself, but away from your family is, you know, I was selfish as hell for 13 years pro football. Like I just, you have to be that to make the NFL. Let's be honest. Right. I mean, you you, you have to be one tracked to make the NFL. Yeah. Like when you're even, and when you're there, you even become more selfish because it's not about anyone else, but me, because I'm the one, you know, going out here and, putting my career on the line every time I go play, whether I have a good game, bad game, or injury. Well, if, so, if, if, you, if you break it down, there's millions and millions of people who play football. There's only 1,500 guys in the league each and every season. Yep. That's that's ridiculous, the, the, the yeah. percentage. So if you're in the NFL, right away you're kind of a superstar athlete, and then if you're a Super Bowl, a two-time Super Bowl champion like Lawrence Tynes, you're ridiculous, okay? Thanks, man. You're a legend. So, uh, but I do enjoy, listen, I, I've... I've been done now seven, eight years. I uh, I have a really good job. I, I took a job very quickly with a company called Wheels Up out in New York um, right after football. So I've been working at Wheels Up since I got done. I got like a new team and, um, you know, football is not forever, but it was, it was a lot of fun. I do miss it. I mean, I miss playing, but I don't miss anything else about it. Well, we miss you and we miss those uh, Giants teams. But I will say this. Uh, I hope you come back. Uh, you know, either on uh, the Zoom or maybe sometime if you're in yeah. New York and we're in here on a Tuesday, you come in the studio, you're more than welcome. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you for this appearance. It was thrilling to not only talk to someone on the, on the, uh, on the uh, Giants teams that won the Super Bowl 42 and 46, but also someone who is in the Tom Brady song himself, Mr. Lawrence Times, kicking in your face. Yeah, we got to get Steve Weatherford on. You got to. I will. Let's will. work on that offline. Yeah. And DM um, me on Twitter. We follow. We follow one another. Yeah. We're peeps. We're, we're peeps. We're, yeah, we Lawrence Tynes, thank you so <laughs> much, you man. Too. All right, man. Right. See you guys. Lawrence, Lawrence Tynes, the great Lawrence Tynes. New York Giant legend, Lawrence Tynes. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Giants. Let's go, Giants. Let's yes. go, Giants. Lawrence Tynes, everybody. Thank you, Lawrence. Oh, wait, he's got to put it on. He's got to put it on. Hold on, Roy. Yeah, Roy, keep going. Keep it going. Big pop, big pop for when it gets on. Yeah! Touchdown! It's good! It's good! It's true blue! It's true blue from Lawrence Tides! Lawrence, thank you. That was fun, man. My helmet doesn't look like Lawrence Tides, everyone. Another round of applause for Lawrence Tides. Oh, what a handsome man. Is he off because you humiliated me with some of those questions, Andrew? Humiliated he was on me. My side. First of all, he was on my side. To me, he was on my, my side. The very max Katie Cape Fear look tonight, with the fucking Hawaiian shirt, the disheveledness, and the and the and the crazy eyes. You're very max Katie Cape Fear, and because Max Katie okay. appeared in that song, right? Yes. And Tom Brady appeared in that song. Yes. And Lawrence Tynes appeared in that song. Roy and I are going to attempt, for the first time ever, a live version of the Fuck Tom Brady song. Oh. A live version. Flutzy, if you want to play along with the um, either sing or flute, we'd love to have you. We don't care. Yes, Robert. I just want to say no worries, Dave. I didn't have any questions for Lawrence Tynes. <laughs> he makes it about himself all the makes time. Why him. wouldn't you just answer fucking, fucking interrupted? Did I not say the fucking... Such a great interview. You said you were going to go around the whole room. I was just waiting for you to go to me. You went to everybody else. Hey. Robert, just to say Dave. Hey. Dave. Dave. Oh, that's cool. No worries. We're good. Hey. <laughs> Yo, chicka, Lawrence, chicka, Lawrence, Lawrence, Robert's brother. Just play the clip of his brother. I don't know. We're never going to have Lawrence studio. back on the show. It's all good, dude. No worries. Hey, play the fucking clip. Oh, where's the live version? We're going to do the live okay, version. Okay. Live version <laughs> but Robert, this is Robert's song. Uh, this would have been a lot better with the setup. It's all good. We're going to play this. Robert, shut the fuck up. Seriously. <laughs> stop fucking being a little goddamn bitch. Be emo. Okay? Jesus yeah. Christ. It would have been a lot better with it. Okay, fine. Fuck. the fucking program. Who gives a fuck? What's this? Who did this? I'd say for you to remind me because I'm never going to remember in the heat of the moment. Listen, I'm the only one with a vagina here, okay? (laughs) So, y'all need to relax. (laughs) Your brother hit a nice shot, though. I mean, that was a good kick. What was that good from? 
26. 26 yards. Is he signed? When Lawrence comes back on the show, you'll get to do the, the, the field goal with your brother. I'm sure we'll do it then, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Fuck Tom Brady in the house! Hey! Oh, this is good. Oh, man. We're going, uh, we're, we're, we're going groove with this. Groove? All right. <laughs> oh, shit. I also bumped my little, uh, I got, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I gotta get to my robot. I've bumped him, I've bumped him more than Robert's brother. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And I plugged it, and I can't fucking plug uh, something and then uh, not get to it. So before we get out of here, um, right. for the first time in quite some time, over a year, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Shock Jock Robot to the oh, show. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shock Jock, how are you? Uh, hi, Shock Jock Robot, how are you? You were better when you thought I was dead. Okay, that hurts. Now, uh, so what have you been doing this uh, past year, SJR? You got addicted to droid porn. Your favorite star is BB-8, my ass. That robot sure knows how to give a rim job. Yeah. You could have finished it with BB-8 my ass, don't you think? You didn't need that last part with it. It's disgusting is what it is. What? <laughs> Not as disgusting as his second favorite droid porn star. <laughs> C3P in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> the golden shower protocol droid. <laughs> Easy, 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 easy. Uh, anything else we should know about Shock Jock Robot? You're embarrassing all of us. This is these are questions are worse than Bobos. Look. You're thinking of starting a Patreon account. Twenty five dollars for pics of your nuts and bolts. Fifty bucks for anal. Doesn't even what? Okay, that's fine. So how how have you made it through the pandemic, Shock Jock? And, and, and also, how do you know what medical advice to follow? I want to. You only listen to one physician, Dr. J. While your health is deteriorating, you can now dunk from the free throw line. Okay, so that's not a, no, he's not a real doctor. I am sure about that. He is not an actual physician. Basketball player. Sixers. Uh, are you afraid to die, SJR? <laughs> no, he says. <laughs> be a sweet release from ever having to appear on the East Side Dave show again. Okay. Oh Shock Jock Robot, everyone. Shock Jock Robot. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, Andrew? Oh, um, oh, 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 is there any chance I can quickly take care of some business before we leave? <laughs> yes. Oh. Just because I don't know where uh. this is going and I'm interested. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to step back. Uh oh, and... are you going to shoot us? No. Is this where you shoot us? <laughs> is this is where you take out Axe? Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm interested in this now. I'm sitting too close. Yeah, you definitely are. What the hell's going on? He needs to take care of some business. That actually just might mean he just might shit. Uh, you know, uh, that, that's what he says when he poops. Does it involve crust? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Andrew. What is the business you need to take care of? Because now I don't know what you're even talking about. Thanks for showing up today, Big A. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew. Thanks a lot, uh, Garrett. All right, stay focused. Right. What do you? What's the business? Okay, uh... Someone here did not plug the East Side of the Dave show. Uh-oh. God, we were having such a nice show. Oh, my God. We were having such a good program. And now you want to go on this route. Yes. Uh, uh, Anger. Yes. Yes. Anger. Yes. Negativity, okay? Negativity. Do, am, am I guessing? Is this like a game show for me all of a sudden? If you want. Well, I know Flutzy probably didn't plug. If uh, No? No, 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 no. I haven't not done Flutie, a show. No. Not Flutzy Robert? I'm clean this time. Roy Harder? No. Oh. Bo. Bo. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, you oh. Little, ding, ding, ding. You little bastard. After all those questions, you were allowed to ask Lawrence Tynes. We had to bump Robert's brother because of you. And now Robert's going to mope for the next 45 minutes. All because of you, you little piece of shit. And you didn't plug our show. And we had to bump fucking the field goal kicking tambour for you. Where was this? I didn't plug the show. 
Where was this, Andrew? Bo's to go. He's fucking defensive. Saturday, secret show. C-Mass Collective at the secret show. Robert! To be fair, the Ski Mask Collective isn't really a podcast. Oh. <laughs> They've got like two people who watch it who are definitely fans of the East Side Dave show, so maybe we give Bo a pass on this one. Uh, Bo, do you get a spontaneous uh, appearance? And it was a spontaneous appearance, but I think Andrew's. I don't give Bo a pass. I've done uh, 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 five streams. I think we, so, and drinking, and. Always plugging East Side Dave okay. show. Okay. Jim uh, of okay. uh, Jim Stencil. Okay, I know. Who's a concerned oh, fan? He told flipped. me. He set him he, off. He fucking went nuts. Who's a concerned fan? He went nuts. Yeah, you you probably should just stay away from Andrew. He looks like he's Jim, gonna uh, explode. Jim Stencil. Are you all right? Jim Stencil, what? Concerned of uh, uh, fan of the East Side Dave show told me. And, and I also okay. heard it. Right. He did, he he talked about the Mets. Oh, fucking Mets. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know, David. Please decipher what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Andrew, it's okay. Thank you for telling me, Bo. I don't understand. Bo, I don't understand what you're doing exactly when you you don't pod uh, you don't plug us. We love you so much, but all it takes is one little quick plug. Bo, this is where I'd like you to talk. I'll I'll prepare and I'll okay. get a little post-it note in my house. <laughs> Plug the Eastside Dave show. A post-it note. If of on anything today. Okay, on anything today after the show. Uh, after the show, I will write down that post-it note. Okay. And I will tape it to the door. Is that good in enough? My room. Post-it note. He's gonna put a post-it note in his room. Is that good enough for you? If he plugs it, and that's if he plugs. I don't care. Bottom line, he's this guy gets ass. I don't care if he puts post note up his ass. He has to plug East Side Dave show. Okay. Whoa. And when Andrew claps, then he's doing his his impersonation of a black woman. East Side And he Dave talks show. and claps at the same time. Are you aware of that, Bo? Dave show. Okay. All right, so then for that, I'll plug the East Side Dave show. Roy Harder. See, because oh, he has nice. told us. Hold on, he has told us in the past. I'm gonna do it from now on, Dave. I promise, Dave. I'm gonna do it from now on, Dave. I promise, Dave. <laughs> have right. a nice program. Tonight. Why? All right. Well, you, you know what? You quiet he is. is. You find out, but it's the sentence to madness. You see yeah. how quiet he is. He's quiet, but, ain't he? Oh, but uh, oh, well, fuck hey, it, Dave he's over there. I swear on the life of Pete Alonso and Jacob Degrom, I will. The Mets are out of the playoffs. Yeah. Now you pissed me yeah. off. You, didn't I tell you that the Yankees were gonna fucking make the playoffs Woo! this year? You're gonna you... lose to the wild card to Boston! Oh! Get the fuck down! Get the fuck down! Do you think Get the fuck down! What the hell is gonna be? Gonna... Get... You just... Is this how you people want an ending? That you people are gonna fucking get an ending right now! Play damn, it's been a real fine day right now! What about fuck Tom Brady? Go ahead, sing the song. Okay. Oh wait, fuck Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. No. Fuck that song. We'll do it next week. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues. Ain't got no money for bad news. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. To West LA. LA. <laughs> no, no need to worry. worry cause I ain't in no hurry. Ain't no hurry. Damn, Damn it's been, been a real fine day. There's a whole lot, lot of trouble out in this world. Yeah. Oh, oh, what what worry. Worry. oh, what a worry. Oh. Fine day. Oh, don't do a guy fresh. Damn, Damn it's been, been a real, real fine day. day. Got all my, my new shoes. shoes. Ain't no way we're gonna lose. Damn, it's been a real, real fine, fine day. day. See you next Tuesday, you son of a bitch.
church. I'll see you next Tuesday. If it's the last fucking thing I do, I'll see you fucking next Tuesday.